welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be another Sunday walk around video at Chesterfield Auto Parts. Uh, to see what new inventory we have and what interesting finds uh, have been placed in the yard in the past week. So let's check it out. Probably going to start with the sales force first. So here's the first one. This is new. <laughs> a, uh, a lightly smashed GX470. How about that? 280,000 miles, $3,000. Actually, not terrible if you're looking for a trail truck, honestly. Let's see how rusty it is. Yeah, that's just the trail hitch. They're all, they all do that. Doesn't look, doesn't look too terrible besides that. Interior has that wet, wet Toyota smell. Not an unfortunate end, but it probably starts. Radiator looks squashed, but other than that, it's all there. You could you could definitely pull that out. This would be a good project for somebody. Yeah, or you just need some donor parts. All right, we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. We're gonna go in on the uh, on the import side. These are always interesting when I see braces in here because they're usually pretty picked over. I think there's lots of lots of parts here that's uh, valuable in the secondhand market, so they don't they don't last very long. Lexus IS250, totally gutted, totally gutted. Again, not the most interesting find, but just not something you see. Well, I guess you're gonna start seeing more of them soon, but this is. Probably the reason why it's in here. So another thing you need to keep in mind is usually by Sunday, if they drop cars in the yard Tuesday or Wednesday, anything of value is usually gone by Sunday. So things are usually pretty picked over by then. This X5 looks like someone dropped the motor. Probably looking for, for something else. Yeah, not much left. All right, here's the uh, here's our Jag from last week. Someone pulled uh, pulled a fender. Some cowl bits, but nothing nothing crazy. It does have that XJR mesh grill, which is nice, but. Not, uh, not really worth the time to scoop up if I don't really need it. But these, these wire wheels are rough. Check out this Chevrolet Azuzu Spectrum. Um, a car that will inevitably sit here probably forever because it was pretty much a parts car when it left the factory. I've never, I've seen one before, but never really stopped to check it out. Again, these cars usually, they usually stay complete because no one needs parts for them because they just throw them away. 209,000 miles. Looks like it just had been sitting in someone's yard for a while. And it's uh, totally complete. Check out this, uh, this Escalade. Even in the condition that it's in, completely smashed, it looks like somebody still took the motor. I don't or the motor was ejected. This is, I don't think I've seen such catastrophic damage on a full-size truck before. The whole frame is just pushed almost into the, uh, the footwell there. Oof. Airbags. Dash is pushed all the way into the back seat. I can't even open the door. I'm surprised this isn't marked as like a biohazard or something man that impact is crazy legitimately crazy god there's the steering wheel i don't think you survived that infotainment system right in your face.
Here's a little CRV that's been completely picked apart. I think I'll go on record by saying Honda products, Nissan products, and uh, BMW products, there's another Prius, are probably the most uh, torn apart, sought after models when it comes to uh, scooping up parts. I might have missed this before, but there's a 4Runner. I don't think I've ever seen a 4Runner in a junkyard. But you can tell it had some probably some hot boy wheels on it, some stupid spacers. But you have built scene coilovers, that's probably something right there. Someone's already yanked the probably the 3.4 out of there. Yeah, they really they really picked this one over, but still I'd, I'd say it's an interesting find. These don't really end up in yards that often. You got the W126 300 d don't know if I featured this one before. This was a pretty complete car last week, but I didn't really check it out. You know, this is the kind of cars I used to cut my teeth on back in high school when I had one. And we'd go to the junkyard to uh, scrounge for fuses and parts and lights and Euro bits and whatnot. So very familiar with this body style and everything in it. Um, unfortunately, this one looks like it's been just rusted to pieces and there's not much salvageable or left on it. Uh, but if I ever find decent parts for one, I'll, I'll definitely grab it. I like to buy parts for cars I don't own. That makes sense, right? A lot of Volvo wagons and a lot of minis. I think I've been seeing a lot more minis hit this yard recently as well. It does kind of make me wish I had a Volvo wagon again. Um, parts are easy to find. Not too hard to work on. Still, uh, but they're, they're a little more expensive. Than, uh, than the $500 I used to get them for. So, you know, oh, A8 motor, just hanging out. Check out those, I wonder what killed it. It's just so interesting to see something, even though it's not modern, it's 20 years old, but just uh, languishing out here. That car ruined you anyway. So I know I didn't feature this one last time. We've got another one of these GXP, 5 liter, 5.3 liter LS um, Pontiacs in here, which is interesting because you don't even see these on the road, let alone in a yard. I think this is going to be one of those type of cars that people uh, people try to hold on to, 176,000 miles. I just don't think that the, uh, the owners are the type of people that uh, keep them for very long time and maintain them to the specification that are needed um but i think clean ones i think that'll be an interesting car down the road i mean they're not they're not bad looking and that's a it's given it's a lot of power to drive the front wheels but you know quad exhaust 5.3 ls 300 some horsepower it's it's on a that's a fun combination All right, so that's gonna wrap up this one. Again, just another kind of quick update. Uh, not a whole lot of turnover since the last time I was there, so there wasn't a whole lot to film. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the Sunday Chesterfield Auto Parts Richmond location junkyard walkthrough uh, or recycler walkthrough, and hopefully we'll do uh, we'll do some more of these. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to keep seeing them, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.